media has finally taken over porn on, on the web. So it's just, it's just it's important to, to know that. <laughs> Last one I have to share with you a story. Okay, you know how it said one out of every eight couples in the States met through social media, young people? Do you know how they now break up? <coughs> if they've gone out with someone for two years? On Facebook. <laughs> on the wall. Oh, that would be even worse. I heard text message. <laughs> I heard the text <laughs> message. Yeah, goodbye. We're done. We're over. So, when these people work with you, they're, you know, if they're going to break up with someone after they've been with them for two years over text message, you may want to wonder about social, about, you know, their, how comfortable your clients feel with them and how they're going to come. Anyway, just a thought. But, uh, yeah, that's interesting. I guess it's... Facebook was a country. How which which size of country would it be? Would it be the you know tenth largest country in the world population wise? Would it be the sixth largest country? How large would it be? Third, fourth, fourth. Yes. Who said fourth first? Okay. Incoming. Incoming. <laughs> That's interesting to know. Eighty percent of people are obviously using Twitter on their on their wireless phones versus going online. <laughs> to me, but uh, why in the Z generation think that emails passe? You know, why would they go? Why would they receive an email? They'd rather receive a text, or they'd rather go on to Facebook or Twitter. I think it's funny. <laughs> the things that it talks about that I think is very critical is that um, people trust uh, people's recommendations. Eighty percent. I've seen other sources that say ninety percent. Compared to an ad, which they trust, they say 14%, 20%. Again, I've seen different dark articles depending on who's talking about or different numbers. All that says is <coughs> world of mouth. If you and I are having a conversation, it normally ends there. But if it's on Facebook or on LinkedIn or on Twitter and someone sees you're retweeting, you're retweeting me, or you've uh, indicated a comment on one of my posts, everyone that you're connected to that I don't know personally at all and they're not connected to sees that you've shared something so all of a sudden about me that you've liked I hope and so then all of a sudden everything that 50 percent of these folks might be online according to the stats on Facebook for example so now all of a sudden they're seeing that someone they trust likes something that they wouldn't have known about otherwise all of a sudden my market has increased through all these people and that's what the world of mouth is all about on these social media platforms I like to say it's almost like putting a drop of a pebble and watching the ripples grow. Normally the pebble is just between you and me, but now it, it just grows. Because now say yourself, who has a totally different network, and I'm sure some of them might overlap, says something about it as well. Now all of a sudden your whole network is, is, is knowledgeable, they see it, it's going to gain trust, maybe they're going to, maybe it's a new prospect, but at least I'm top of mind. So it becomes something that's viral.